It's a gardenia tree. It will flower hopefully at some stage during the course of um, uh, the summertime. Delicious smelling flowers. Not that one, Eggsy. That's a quarry bush. There we are. Um, <laughs> and I have a small relatively interesting story to tell you about the gardenia tree and that was a story of when I was on my very first game drive I remember being panicked by giving people silence in the bush now on these sort of live safaris just driving along and not saying anything for extended periods is obviously just a little bit awkward but you can do that for you know I don't know 10 20 minutes sometimes if you've got people on the back of the vehicle and they're listening and they're looking and they're just sort of enjoying the atmosphere of the place. Well, when I was a young guide, young buck, so many years ago, 16 years ago now, Eggsy, when you were, well, you were just a child, weren't you? Um, <clears throat> I was driving along one evening, picking bits of leaves and handing them to my guests, telling them about what tree it was. I mean, they didn't know what I was talking about half the time. It was pitch black darkness, they couldn't identify the tree, but at least it kept me talking. And one of those trees, I remember being the gardenia on my very first drive. Driving at night, not seeing anything, thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to tell these people something. And I stopped next to a gardenia tree, picked the leaves and handed them to these guests who were very surprised to have been handed a mangled bunch of leaves in the pitch black darkness which they would never have been able to identify possibly even in the daytime. And that is my small relatively interesting story about the gardenia.